Okay, we're here at the range today, and uh, I got my buddy Ray's brought a real interesting gun to show us. And uh, he's going to explain all about it and the history behind this gun. So, take it away. What is it, Ray? Uh, today that uh, I brought along with my, uh, one of my other uh, firearm is a uh, Hickler and Cook. Uh, Called P7. Uh, the model is PSP. It stands for Police Service Pistol. Uh, the German police been using this gun for uh, for years, uh, since 1979, I believe. And now they discontinue producing it. It's no longer produced by them. Uh, it's somewhat of a uh, rare item. People like to collect them. Uh, it's eight round. Comes with eight round mag. Uh, the mechanism is very different from a conventional gun, and on a safety uh, point of view, it's very to me it's very safe to operate this this firearm uh, because, as you see, uh, let's double check this. Well, and tell, tell, tell me why this gun came about. Uh, this gun was uh, designed or uh, by uh, the German uh, armed forces. After the uh, the terror well, attack in uh, night uh, in the uh, the Munich the Munich Olympic game, and uh, they they wanted to design have a new pistol, and uh, that's when this whole thing is come about. It's a, a brand new design at the time, and uh, they adopted that for the uh, police forces. Uh, but now they I believe they had changed to uh, Hickler and Coke uh, a P two thousand, and. Uh, so this gun is no longer produced. And uh, the, the, the it's, it's quite different, as you see. Um, you know, the mag is out. A safety check, okay. So she's safe. And uh, to explain this, how this gun operate is... Uh, it's an eight-round mag. I believe you can carry one in the chamber. And uh, in order to fire this gun, uh, you got to squeeze this little lever in here. It takes about 15 and a half pounds to squeeze it. And then you can see the indicator come out on the back, and it tell you that you're ready to fire. And when that happens, and this trick is only take about four and a half pounds to uh, activate. And then after that, uh, as long as you keep this squeeze, and the gun will continue to fire like a double action gun. So, once you release it, the indicator went in, and uh, the the trigger no longer function, and uh, the gun is not cocked. We can carry one in the chamber. Uh, it's quite safe, and a very good system, I think. And uh, that's why uh, I bought along today, and uh, maybe uh, we can uh, have some fun with it. Okay, now I got my max already. It's got eight round in there, and uh, we're going to see uh, how this gun uh, perform. Uh, I'm using right now. I'm using the Remington uh, UMC nine millimeter, 115 grain. Okay, I'm ready to rock and roll. Round wind and uh, foulously. Very happy with it. That's the target. The one on the left he was just shooting at, so he's not, uh, it's pretty much uh, uh, grouping, nice grouping at uh, 10 o'clock, 10 to 11 o'clock. That's still the H&K? Yep, it's still the H&K, and we're going to try another clip. Uh, hold, hold on, hold on. You can't do that. can't do that. Okay, go. Okay, now this is going to be another uh, eight rounds in here. Uh, I got one in the chamber. And let's see that what I believe. Okay. All 
away. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Okay, we, my good buddies with me uh, shoot his uh, Hector and Koch. And we're going to get that in there. And let's see how this baby goes. Uh, squeeze the trigger. That, yep, and, uh, squeeze the lever. There we go. Cool. Okay, so my buddy's got another story for us with the gun. Go ahead, Ray. Yeah, um... I read about this, and uh, uh, since it's a police uh, pistol, uh, the story I read about was uh, the bad guy. Actually, somehow he, he took the uh, pistol away from the police officer, and uh, and he's trying to uh, shoot the police officer. But quite obviously, he didn't know how to operate his gun, so he couldn't get the gun to work. And somehow the police officer overcome him and took the gun back. And uh, because of this uh, different kind of setup. So uh, this is how the story go. Uh, not too many people, they really know how to you know, cock the gun and fire it, if you're not familiar with it. So, and also that uh, the little disadvantage about this gun, I forgot to mention, is a gas operator. For the action to slide back, and the gas port it comes directly from the chamber into this area right here, and then it builds up the pressure, and that's how the, the action cycle go back and forth. And because the gas get involved with this part of the uh, the gun itself, and sometimes it get warm. And right now it's after about uh, 16 round, uh, it's warm. Uh, if you shoot like 100 round, 200 round, quick. This part gets to be pretty hot. And the later model one, they have a, uh, a shield around this area. So you won't get uh, burned in the finger or whatever if you shot out rounds out of it. So, all in all, I like this, I like this pistol. It's uh, very different and uh, it shoots good, very accurate, and uh, function almost like perfect. I, I never had one jam on me or any problem at all. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, and, uh, this is Fire on Pop. Ow. Be safe out there and God bless. God Bye bless now. America. This is Fire on Pop and I approve of this message.